So this is a 12 year old female spade Scottish fold cat. She's adopted as a rescue. She presented to me for decreased mobility and visible discomfort that was significantly impacting her quality of life. Um, at the time I saw her, she was on a regimen of gabapentin, adequan, and robinococcib intermittently. The robinococcib on sort of like a every third day or every other day um, rotation. So when I saw her, her exam revealed she had horrible arthritis in most of her distal limbs. I mean, the crepitus in her tarsi were just profound. So we did some blood work, which actually was really good. We did some x-rays, which were not so good. So you can see here, I mean, her poor tarsi, my goodness, her knees, her scapula, and again, my gosh, for, I mean, it's surprising she could even stand or walk. I mean, that's just, it looks awful. I mean, it looks like lytic. So um, this is a video of her. And I mean, what cat sits like this? Poor baby, she doesn't want to sit on her tarsi, it, it hurts. You can see that she started to lose some hair on the outsides from having to have this unusual position. So our treatment strategy with her was starting acupuncture. We kind of took her off everything, kind of went back to baseline. We started omega-3 fish oils. I did start her on Antonol, um, kept the gabapentin in more for anxiety because she didn't like to come to the clinic. So talked to the owner about doing cavalettis, which is where you have sort of little raised bars, um, trying to force her to move her little legs. And um, we talked about doing something like meloxicam, but elected to try this first and reserve that as something we could add in down the road, depending on what happened. And she's pretty much on this right now and doing excellent. So this is her nowadays. Look at her hauling. Look at that. I mean, yeah, she's not a perfect, she's got horrible, but she is moving. And then her owners were ecstatic to see her drinking out of the water bowl, um, like a normal cat, like not having to sitting full force on her tarsi. I've heard recently she's been able to go outside in the porch. She's discovered parts of her home that she didn't know she had. So her quality of life has gone up. Her time with her owners has gone up and she's she loves her acupuncture. She comes in, she doesn't need gap pit anymore. She totally digs it. Um, so it's a very satisfying thing for her owners and for me.